Welcome back, film goers. We have a special treat for you today. Prepare for an extraordinary journey as we reveal the highly anticipated movie Avatar 3 for next installment in James Cameron's groundbreaking sci fi epic. We can hardly contain ourselves. Let's once more enter the enthralling world of Pandora. Avatar 3 release date. When will Avatar 3 hit theaters? To cut a long story short, Avatar 3 will be released in theaters on December 20th, 2024, barring any post production delays. The threequel was moved every time the sequel was, so it had a string of release dates. However, it was shot concurrently with The Way of Water, implying that Avatar 3 filming is now complete. Both films were shot between September 2017 and December 2020, but there is still a lot of post production work to be done on the third. Avatar 4 is scheduled to arrive on December 18th, 2026, and Avatar 5 on December 22nd, 2028. The fourth film has already begun filming with a younger cast, but there is still work to be done. Furthermore, production on the fifth film has yet to begin. The fifth film, on the other hand, has a finished script. Avatar 3 cast. Who will return for Avatar 3? Given that Avatar 3 was shot concurrently with a sequel, we already have some confirmed returns for the next film, led by Sam Worthington as Jake Sully and Zoe Saldana as Neytiri. The sequel introduced us to the extended Sully family, but they'll be missing one member in the third film, as Netayam was shot and killed during the dramatic climax of The Way of Water. When the Sully family interacts with the spirit tree, there is a chance we'll see flashbacks or even Netayam, but he's dead. Every other Sully member survived, so we'll see Britton Dalton as their second son, Loak. Trinity Jolie Bliss as their youngest child, Tukti Ray, and their adopted daughter Kiri, who is Dr. Grace Augustine's avatar's biological daughter. Mild Spider Socorro, a Pandora born human who was revealed to be Quaritch's son, will also be reprised by Jack Champion. At the end of the sequel, he saves his father's life, but he chooses to return to the Sully family. Speaking of Spider's father, Stephen Lang will reprise his role as Colonel Miles Corbridge, who has become a recombinant. He now has even more reason to seek vengeance, having been defeated yet again by Jake. Cliff Curtis and Kate Winslet will reprise their roles as Metkayana leader Tonawari and his wife Ronal, respectively, and Bailey Bass will play the daughter Tereya. Kayakan, the lovable Tolkien who befriended Loark in a sequel, will also return along with his nemesis Mick Scoresby, played by Brendan Cowell via Empire. Scoresby lost an arm as a result of Kayakan's action, so he'll be out for vengeance. The third film will also feature some newcomers. David Thewlis plays a mysterious character, Michelle Yeoh plays Dr. Karina Moog, and Game of Thrones star Una Chaplin plays Varang. Varang has been revealed to be the leader of the Ash People, an aggressive, volcanic race of people who will appear in the trilogy. They are one of the two new Navi cultures that Cameron will introduce us to in the next film. The other is a desert tribe referred to by the director as the Wind Traders that trade, that travels around, the sort of thing. In an interview with Deadline, Wind Traders is also the name of the gift shop in Pandora, the world of Avatar, Disney World's Avatar-themed area. Coincidence or not? If you're hoping to see Vin Diesel in the new film, don't hold your breath, producer John Lando has ruled him out. Vin was a big fan. He came in, dropped by the set one day to see what we were up to, and people took that out of context, he explained. Fans of Michelle Rodriguez's character, Trudy Chacon, from the first Avatar, will be disappointed as well, as the actress confirmed in an interview with Vanity Fair that she does not want her character, who died in the first film, to be resurrected. I saw Jim Cameron and he was like, I was thinking, what if Michelle came back? A lot of other characters returned in the way of water, she explained. I said, you can't do that, I died a martyr. Jim, I was not supposed to return to Resident Evil. I returned to Machete despite being forbidden to do so. I was not supposed to return with Letty. We can't do a fourth, that would be overkill. Avatar 3 title. What will the title of Avatar 3 be? Avatar 3's title has yet to be confirmed, but we may have a good idea of what it will be called. According to BBC News, the four Avatar sequels will be titled Avatar The Way of Water, Avatar The Seedbearer, Avatar The Tolkien Rider, and Avatar The Quest for Awa. In February 2019, Cameron confirmed that those titles were under consideration. 
If Avatar The Way of Water became the title of the sequel, could Avatar The Seedbearer be the title of the third film? We don't know for a while because the title of the second film wasn't confirmed until the first teaser in May 2022. Avatar 3 Plot What will the plot for Avatar 3 be about? While Avatar The Way of Water is largely self-contained, it does provide some hints as to what Avatar 3 will be about. The Sully family may have lost a member by the end of the film, but they are now part of the Metkayina clan. Jake's final voiceover indicates that he's preparing to take a major stand against the RDA to protect his family. This is our stronghold. This is where we make our stand, he says. Unless Cameron is playing us, this suggests that in the third film, the Navi and the RDA will be at odds. In Avatar 3, Jake on the other hand is stepping away from the narration. Cameron has confirmed that Loak will narrate the third film with other characters narrating the fourth and the fifth. There are also mysteries to be solved in the third film, such as who Kiri's father is and why she has such a strong bond with Awa that she can't control Pandora's flora and fauna. Interestingly, writers Rick Jaffa and Amanda Silver revealed to Variety that there was too much material for the second one, so it was split into two movies. This implies that Avatar 3 will be closely related to The Way of Water. The duo has been tight-lipped about what we can expect. However, they did state that the dynamics established in the sequel, such as those between the two sets of parents, continue to play out in the third film. Jack Champion teased Avatar 3 a little more, saying he was very shocked by the story when he first read it. It just takes sharp left, which isn't a bad thing. You think you know where it's going until a wrecking ball shows up. So you're like, oh wow, I never thought that would happen, he explained to The Hollywood Reporter. You also see more regions of Pandora and are introduced to more cultures, Champion added. As a result, I believe it is even better than Avatar 2. Collectively, they'll each get better. It's fair to say that we are expanding the world and you'll be exposed to different biomes and new tribes, animators Richard Bainham and Joe Lettery said to the BAFTAs. That was even the concept behind Avatar The Way of Water. After the first one, many people wondered, where is Jim Cameron going to take it? But his idea, and he's spoken about it, is that it's a big planet with a lot of stories to tell. And I think that's what makes it so exciting. We have the freedom to explore. Well, that's it for now. Make sure that you like our video, share your views and opinions in the comment section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated regularly with the latest news and reviews on upcoming movies from us. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you at the next one.